I kind of almost wish they had a larger amount of objectives. Like, a, a larger list of objectives, but you kind of both have to get all of them and you don't have to get any of them to progress. Okay. So where'd the knife go? Oh, she put them in an inconvenient location. And we're gone. Okay, so knife, fork, plate, pepper. Yep. Okay, I think we'll be fine. But yeah, largest set of objectives that you can completely ignore? Kinda, yeah. Maybe? I don't know. It's just, it's this weird halfway point between a mayhem simulator like Goat, Goat Sim and a puzzle game. And you want, like, it to be handled slightly differently. And she has lost me. It's Goat Sim without the co-op. Yeah, kinda. Oop. I should probably play Goat Sim someday and see how it goes. Because, I mean, obviously I've heard good things about it. It's just one of those where it's like, I tend not to play games if they're super popular. Uh, unless they particularly stand out. This is just one of those games that I've been looking forward to for ages because it's such a cute little thing. Yeah, Goat Sim is super boring. It's just YouTuber bait. I mean, I'll give them some credit. It made them a shit ton of money, which made it perfect for uh, funding Satisfactory. Which... I'll give credit. Like, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Also, thank you, uh, Covert Ops, for the sub. And welcome to Covert Goose. Let's see, the MMO part was fun enough. Huh. Yeah, I never played any of them. I, like, watched some people play it for a little while, and I was like, this is kind of neat. I think the other thing is I just kind of resented uh, resented Goat Sim because it meant that we probably weren't going to get a Sanctum 3. Because I would like... I would like a... Oh. Honk the Pepper. I would love a Sanctum 3. Nope. Disappointing. Uh, let's see. Either that or if they added some kind of, like, Sanctum mode to... Uh, satisfactory. One or the other would be amazing. Okay, so where the heck is the candle? Has anybody seen it around? There it is. These people are painfully blind. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Double damn it. Okay, got it. The controls are really weird sometimes. Oh, that's why. That's why the controls are weird. I straight up can't fit under tables with this thing. Maybe I just had to duck. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we're good. We are goosing good. Uh, let's just drop this bad boy off. And we've set the table. Messily, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, let's see. So drop a bucket on the burly man's head. So I gotta find a bucket. Is this a bucket? I mean, it looks like a bucket. This is not a bucket I would want to have dropped on my head. Oh, there's a bucket on the wall. Okay. Oh. So 
So there is. Where the hell did we get the burly man back here? I have ideas. I have tools. I'm gonna use tools. Okay. I guess actually, in retrospect, they'll reset it for me. Oh, this is, this is even easier than I thought. All I have to do is this. Yoink. Is he bringing it back? Oh no. He lost interest. to go quick. So, yeah, at least we know how to drop the bucket, which is good. Why are you staring at me? Please go away. So, what we need is somebody to reset that bucket. Okay. He's going to go reset the bucket. Maybe? So, when he when he sets the bucket, this should work perfectly. Oh, God, he might be too distracted by too many other things. Everybody is too distracted by my current presence. The walkie-talkie seems like it'll work. They're really confused. Not great. Okay, so we got we got a misplaced said bucket. Oh. Oh. She does it. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, we might have to abscond the other tomato box. 
Where'd he go? I have no idea. Yeah, because it looks like... It looks like he's just going to, going to put the tomato in the nearest tomato box. So I think my best option is... To some small degree? We might want to just take the bucket and bring it next to him. Because if we toss the bucket next to him, he'll probably be the one to bring the bucket back. At which point we just immediately... Just dump it on his face. Okay, she lost interest really fast, which is good. Okay, we're good. Now, go for the bucket. The man has the bucket. Please do not ha hand it to the lady. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. We know exactly where he's going to place said bucket. It means I should be able to just dump, dump it on his head as soon as he puts it up there. God damn it. <laughs> How? Freaking... I... It was foolproof! <laughs> ah! Okay, so hopefully he's going to go check that out as opposed to me. And then he'll see the bucket. <sighs> <laughs> okay. He's, he's on the bucket path again. Lady, do not get in his way. Please, for the love of crap, push her out of the way. Okay, we're good. Lady, lose interest. Go the other way. Perfect. Damn it! Why? Why is this so hard? Why is... Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Come on!
This is hell. So how do we want to do this? <sighs> it's very obvious that the... The current setup almost works. But there are limitations. For starters... I'm going to move this over here. I'm thinking... There's no bucket. Yeah, part of the problem is he's going to reset all of these other items. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Uh, huh. Okay. The tomatoes are out of place. Man spotted me. We're gonna have to wait. The problem is, I think he's gonna put the tomatoes away before he puts the bucket away. She might put the bucket away. See if I can distract them. Now, because he's gonna. What the? Okay. So he puts the tomatoes away. So I have to get him back there, and he has to put a tomato away. Not the bucket away, because if he puts the bucket away, he ends up off-center. But when he's putting the tomato down... We're good. I just have to get him to... Get the bucket, then get a tomato. I think the answer is, I bring him the bucket, he brings the bucket back, then sees the to uh, puts the bucket back, then puts the tomato back in. So I, I just have to have a slightly misplaced tomato, or a bunch. The problem is the lady could screw everything up a little bit. I'm not sure if she's... I don't know if she replaces the tomatoes. He's got the bucket. Come on, get the bucket. Good sir, get the bucket. Stop chasing the goose. Get the bucket, bucket, okay. He's got the bucket. Alright. Plan is working. Plan is working better than expected, honestly. I didn't realize he was still in the area, but here we are. We're good to go. Okay, so bucket's up. Now tomato. Goose ties. What the devil? Come on! Got it. <laughs> All right, I got him. Now what do I do?
Because I think that's all of her objectives in the area, yeah? Oh, Mr. Tomato Bottom. Oh. Nothing? Nothing! I got him, but that's it. Oh, I see. We are a free goose. Assert dominance. Assert goose. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now... Shoot. Wait, no. We're not super limited. Okay. What else do we have here? Where are we going? Ah! Locked. I might need the groundskeeper's keys for this. Maybe? I'm mildly unsure. Let's keep wandering around a little bit. I wonder how much of this I even have left. Okay, one way or another, we got into the model village. Steal the beautiful miniature golden bell. Drown the child. Drown the mother. <gasps> it's a model of the whole village. Somebody had asked if there's a mini-map for this game. The answer is no. But also yes. That's clever as hell. Oh, I can vandalism. This is... This is a great little mini-map. I love it. Because, yeah, it shows you everywhere you've been. In weirdly lifelike detail. Sort of. Wait. And they even have a miniature, miniature... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh no! No way! Oh, this is just mean! This is so mean! I think this is the meanest thing I've done so far! Like everything else, mostly fixable. I am a monster. I'm an absolute trash horror. Okay, so we've got the storm drain. Problem is, if I want to get through that gate, I need keys. That might be the groundskeeper the keys, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Down the 
look at. But on the lookout does not necessarily imply that they're actually going to be able to find me. They have no idea. The fools. Is this one also locked? I think so. Oh, is every shortcut locked? So I have to stealth past everything. Yeah, every shortcut has been closed. I'm trying to decide. Oh, they even... They even did that so I can't dump it off the bridge. Oh, wow. So yeah, I, I I can't throw it in the water. It's pure stealth segment at this point. This is... This is wild. I mean... Luckily, it's not so bad. Okay, good. So, I don't get reset back to the very beginning. I just get reset back to their yard. Okay. So next one. Yeah, this isn't so bad. And most of them are pretty slow. They're a little bit faster than me, but they give up the moment I leave their yard. Which makes this relatively easy. Yeah, I was really afraid that they'd actually rush it back to the model the model town, because if they rush it back to the model town, that means this suddenly gets a lot harder. And a lot... Well, yeah, just a lot harder. But because it's just these foolish mortals, in this specific manner, like, whatever, who cares? We're good. There we go, got it. Now, when will you give up, old woman? Ah, shit. This is the shortcut. It's okay. It's okay. We're fine. We just have to be behind her. I went through the wrong door.
Okay, she won't follow me. And then it is just the groundskeeper. He is vigilant, but he is also foolish. Farewell! <laughs> oh, you even reset the picnic. There we go. Farewell. This goose has his... Well, he has his prize. A miniature golden bell. That is pretty dang big, all things considered. But, mildly justified. I mean, look at all this trash these people left behind for the goose. We. This is such a charming little game. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that twist ending. That was amazing. Get goosed. <laughs> That's why everybody's kind of both pissed at him, but also used to him. Or her. Freaking... This goose has just been on a rampage forever. I think this is like some kind of weird purgatory. And everybody's just stuck here going about their daily routine while the devil just comes through and steals their bells over and over again and they can do nothing to stop him. <laughs> oh, man. Untitled Goose Game is dumb as shit and I love it. I still stand by my wish that it had a little bit more flexibility on how you solved a number of these problems. Because it would have been kind of fun if every single one of these objectives had, like, four different ways to do it. But, instead, I mean, like, the bucket on head one, you very clearly needed the guy to bend over with the tomato. And so on and so forth. And I feel like they could have had a couple more things. But that's okay. Anyway, so we also have a whole bunch of other things uh, that we can... We can do reset to give this a go. Complete the garden to-do list before oh god, before the church bells ring. Trap the boy in the garage. Catch an object as it's thrown over the fence. Get thrown over the fence. Dress up the bust with things from outside the back garden. Score a goal. Perform at the pub wearing a ribbon. Steal the old man's woolen hat. Lock the groundskeeper out of the garden. Cabbage, cabbage picnic. Trip to the trip the boy in the puddle. Make the shop scales go ding. Open an umbrella inside the TV shop. Make someone from outside the high street buy back their own stuff. Collect the five flower. Uh, collect the five flowers. And the basket over the well. A tulip, lily, rose, daisy, chrysanthemum. Wow. So there's a lot of really tough to-dos later. This one would be rough. I don't think I would do this. Um, but yeah, the hot dang. There's technically more to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it, though. This doesn't count as finishing the game, does it? I'm not sure if I want to go through all the effort to get all of these. They might be worth it. I don't really know. Uh, definitely not the speedrun ones, and yeah, the, the to-do finally cross everything else off the to-do list. Like, I could potentially do these two pages worth of stuff, but not this one. I don't want to get... Uh, going fast, I don't think is going to make it feel better. Because, like, I could try. Or, honestly, we've more or less experienced all of this and had fun. Anything past this point is probably just going to be frustrating. Maybe? I don't know. It makes you wonder if there's a true ending if you finish it all, though. 
Maybe. It'd be in, uh, it'd truly be interesting to see uh, a speed run of this and see if you can get all of these objectives in one go. Because that'd be amazing. Hard to do, though. 